Join the ranks of these greats. Become a member of the IGFA today. For more information, visit IGFA.org. When young Jack Anderson landed his first fish in a Michigan lake, it was the beginning of many trophies for a man who became well known for his consummate big game angling skill. Jack was educated in Bermuda, then enrolled at Yale University, but he left academia in the summer of 1942 to enlist in the United States Army Air Force. After serving with distinction in the European Theater of Operations, he returned to Yale, graduating in 1947. Jack Anderson quickly put his international relations degree to use at the family steel tubing firm, Bundy Corporation. Over the next 45 years, Bundy became a multinational force, affording Jack the opportunity to fish all over the globe, at the very forefront of the angling boom that occurred after the war. In 1978 and 1983, off Australia's Great Barrier Reef, Anderson caught two remarkable black marlin, weighing 1,318 pounds and 1,307 pounds. Jack is one of only two anglers to accomplish this feat, and he's made 10 to 1 catches of Pacific sailfish and black, blue, and striped marlin, something that few anglers achieve with even a single species. Jack inherited his scientific approach to angling and love of the ocean from his father, Wendell Sr., and accompanied him on two expeditions for Yale, funded by the elder Anderson. Ichthyologists, oceanographers, and Anderson's captain, Bill Fagan, spent several months fishing and collecting valuable specimens in New Zealand in 1948, and in Ecuador and Peru five years later. In 1956, Jack Anderson fished the first of five international tuna cup matches in Wedgeport, Nova Scotia. Selected to represent the United States by event organizer Kip Farrington, Jack was part of the winning team in 1965. During the 1966 tournament, Jack captured the first tuna ever taken by an American team captain. Uh, we're talking now with uh, Captain John Anderson of the, of the uh, American team, the captain of the For American more team. Visit How did this fish compare with the other fish that you've caught before, uh, Captain? I think the best way to answer that question is to say that uh, if all fish were like this, there'd be darn few fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> he continued his association with the Tuna Cup on the board and match committee until 1975. An IGFA trustee for 30 years and vice chairman for 20, Anderson served alongside L. Wood Harry, Bill Carpenter, and Michael Lerner. In the mid-1990s, he became chairman of the campaign cabinet for the newly proposed IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame and Museum. As such, he provided invaluable guidance and played an extremely pivotal role in making the 60-year dream of a permanent home for the International Game Fish Association a reality. For his masterful angling accomplishments and his immeasurable contributions to this organization, IGFA takes great pleasure in honoring Jack Anderson. Join the